Hey, how's it going everyone and good evening. I hope you guys are doing good. Well, I just came back from work and uh, so uh, I'm going to be doing something different. Um, I'm going to be doing a what's called Kingdom Talk, which is where I'm trying to discuss of certain topics that, that really um, have me pondering, you know, and, and now and that, uh, you know, the Lord would uh, show me things uh, through scripture and, 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 you know, just, you know, just really talk about it, you know. But, you know, before we get started, let's go ahead and pray first. Amen. Heavenly Father, Lord, we just uh, thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for your peace. Thank you, Lord, for your love. Father, we just ask that you would uh, come and, and, and help us, Lord, to uh, help us to understand about peace and, and what is peace, what is you know, what, what the whole purpose of this, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for all that you've done, Father. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. First of all, I just want to say that I thank guys for, for tuning in. I uh, hope you are doing a uh, pretty good week so far. Um, so today's topic, we're going to be uh, talking about what it's like to feel peace. What is, you know, what is like to feel peace? And I want to read to you three uh, verses that really, that 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 really, uh, you know, just hit home basically. Um, Psalms twenty nine verse eleven says, "The Lord will give you strength to His people. The Lord will bless His people with peace." And then that, that that's a beautiful part about how God the word God, you know, that's that's one of his promises. Uh the Gospel of John chapter fourteen verse twenty seven. He says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Mm, that's good. Lastly, Romans chapter 14, verse 17. For the kingdom of God is not eating and drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Or in the Holy Ghost. So, the first thing that I uh, thought about, you know, what is true peace? Now we all know that true peace comes from God, which is true. But there's more to that, you know. When you when you face, if you if you if, let's say. If you're in a relationship with um, your girlfriend or your your wife or your husband, your vice versa, um, sometimes you, sometimes you get into arguments, and it gets to the point where the household is is very chaotic. And so, because of that, both of y'all are, are not having peace. Um, now, now, I understand there's a difference between a Gentile relationship and a kingdom relationship, I should call it. Now, with a kingdom relationship with your spouse, um... You know, you two are are in alignment with each other. You, um, you two, uh, you know, you know. Sometimes you argue about you know what to eat and all, but but understand. You know, your wife is submissive towards you as a man, and that it's it's crucial. Uh, that that yeah, you know, sometimes. 
sometimes your wife can have a say to to something and it's our responsibility as men to uh, to make the good decision according to the word of God and um, just you know being in alignment with your spouse um, and and it really is um, important to really understand what is true peace. You know, for me, you know, I, I'm for peace now because I am no longer in a relationship. You know, now I am in line with God. And, and not through a religious, I don't know, baggage. But now I am, I am immersed with the Word of God. I am immersed with the Holy Spirit. And that I now see true peace that comes with the Holy Spirit. See, we, we, we read in Romans chapter 14, verse 17. You know, righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. I think that that, that is crucial to me than, than ever before, you know. Now, you know, all the trauma that, I'm, uh, that, I, that, I, that I had, I overcame that. Not only by the help of therapists, but also through the Holy Spirit. Sometimes I had to talk it through. Just to make sure that I am in line with the Holy Spirit. And, and the second point I want to make is that there is no peace without God in your life. See, the Gentile relationship is, I would say, full of this dysfunction. You know, without God, without the peace of God in your life, everything is so chaotic. And, 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 and you started to, you know, get a divorce. And, and, and your mind started playing on murdering your ex-wife and, and all these things. Because you are so bitter at your spouse that you that you don't have peace in your heart to forgive your ex spouse, and so it's it's very very crucial that when we then we when we seek the face of God daily, you know we always got to forgive ourselves and forgive others for for treating us wrong. It is by faith that I learn how to, to 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 overcome my trauma and to be bold and to be meek and to understand the fullness of who God is in me, you know. You know, sometimes I feel as if I am I feel, you know, sometimes I feel I'm, you know, if I, if I feel nervous about something or if I, if I feel some type of anxiety for, for something and just, you know, that anxiety is, is not peace. It's not peaceful. Your, your, your mind going to and fro and, and, and you're not in, and you're not focusing on God. And so it, it's crucial that sometimes you got to have a moment to stand still and just let God lead, you know, and and be, be honest with yourself and be transparent with yourself. I think that the only way that you can overcome anxiety is that you're talking with yourself Finding the root of what causing that anxiety, and now, and now once you find that that source, you you now you know asking God, God get rid of this this trauma, 
this trigger that I have, um, and 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 I believe that the Holy Spirit will will help us get through that. Um, you know, true peace will take time. You know, it doesn't take overnight. But once we seek God's face, once we meditate on the on the Word of God, once we meditate, um, uh, you know, just doing some breathing exercises and 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 you know probably listen to some some uh, instrument uh, instrumental music like uh, you know like a soaking worship music of some sort and just just you know call up, call upon the name of the Lord and and and, and just let the peace and love of God just wash over you man I tell you it's it's the most incredible thing that I that I experienced in my personal life is because of 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 listening to to uh soaking worship music and and just closing my eyes and pray unto the Lord and and do some breathing exercise breathing exercises and 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 and, and, and you know Maybe read some some psalms or or proverbs, just to build up the spirit, uh, the the spirit man, you know, to rise up and 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 let God just take control of your life, and to surrender too, you know. But yeah, I mean that's my two cents. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is the first time doing that hour, you know. Kingdom talk basically. Um, hopefully, I do the next one. Hopefully, this Saturday. Um, yeah. So, may God bless you. May God keep you. See you guys again next time. Bye.